Hi, I'm Damon Mannion, Vendor's COO. Beyond question, we live in a mobile world, one where your customers are demanding a mobile optimized experience. And that's why mobile is absolutely critical. There are three key ways of delivering a mobile optimized experience. The first is to simply serve the desktop site or do nothing. The second is to have a separate mobile site in place. And the third option is responsive web design. So the do nothing approach where you simply serve the desktop site has inherent problems when it comes to usability. You're forever pinching and zooming in order to be able to click on the links you want or be able to type into the right fields. This impacts usability, which inevitably impacts the conversion rate. The second option is to have a separate mobile site, the so-called MDOT sites. And one of the big challenges with this approach is that it is a separate site and the URLs are completely different. This makes sharing those URLs incredibly difficult. So why does responsive web design win out? The first reason is that it is a single site. This means it's quicker to initially deploy, it's quicker to do the site build, and it's quicker to perform the ongoing maintenance and enhancements. And as it's a single site, it's much simpler to maintain. This is particularly important for the back-end retail operation teams. As responsive web design is adaptive, it automatically fits to all the devices which are viewing it. This means it's a very solid foundation for the future for the new set of wearable devices which are now appearing, such as glasses and watches. And the final advantage responsive web design has is that it delivers a site with a single URL structure across all devices. This maximizes your search engine authority. It also makes your back-end analytics a lot easier because again, it's the same URLs. Responsive web design is made up of three key components. Media queries, flexible grids, and adaptive media. Media queries is simply the ability of a website to adapt to the different devices based upon the size of the screen being viewed. These are typically called breakpoints. Flexible grids allow the design to stretch in between these distinct breakpoints. Flexible media provides further adaptive optimization to deal with touch or not touch, to deal with image resolution, and finally to make best use of the device features. And this is best illustrated with the new responsive site from Clogs. You'll see that the basket has changed from an icon to a larger basket. The browse menu bar now has the top level shop navigation items in place. The hero image has completely changed its orientation and layout. And the brand logos have changed from a two column grid to an eight column grid. On the checkout screen, an essential part of any e-commerce site, we've really streamlined the experience to be as quick and as easy for the customer to use as possible, removing all superfluous information. And don't forget emails. Emails also need to be responsive. Around 50% of all emails are now opened on phones. So this is a critical part of your communication strategy, which needs to be responsive.